Howdy. We have weather occurrences in Europe. This looks quite wild, I would say. Since everything is just cranking up, we are not in summer yet. And this region is from very much interest at the moment. I'm somewhere here. No. Here, I would say, a little bit to the south, close to that thing. And all the pictures you're going to see are made from here, are made today. This is the first picture of the day. In the morning. And I thought, really nice, really interesting. Filamentary structures and halos and such. And many hours later, it looked like that. This was about five hours later. This is to the other direction. That's a small video where you can see the whole thing. This is approximately to the west. And now it's noon, so the sun is high up in the sky with its nice halo and uh, as we go on in time through the day again about six hours later I observed a double halo here's obviously the first one and here we have a second one It is not very well visible, but it is visible. Sorry, I was eating some candies just before the making the video. Maybe we, this is one we should enhance. Because this seems to be really interesting. Let's see what we get. Do we get anything out of that picture? Let's put the exposure up and the brightness down. No. Because there is this kind of layering in this halo, which I find really interesting. But it's not that well visible. Maybe you can see what I mean, but yeah, it's not that well visible. But you can see the halo a bit better up here, which goes all around the sun, of course. And I was thinking there might be some kind of technique that you could somehow measure the diameter of the halo which then you could somehow, if that's Earth and you watch up, you could determine through the width of the halo, you could determine the height of the halo. But I don't know how to make it. I just thought about today. No, I, I thought about this earlier already, but I forgot about it since we don't have everyday halos like that. And today I was thinking again about this, how to figure out how high this is, because it is one layer of the atmosphere. This is also a nice one. It's sometimes hard to get some places where you don't have anything in front of you. 
Uh, maybe that's a fun picture. And it was really, really nice today to follow this halo all day long. And I don't know if anybody else has noticed this. Really interesting with the coloration with the red or yellow. And I noticed some train from the neighbor country. I don't know how it got here, what it includes. I don't know if anybody can read what it's saying here. I don't know. I thought I'd maybe try to figure out. Would be interesting. <laughs> What is needed here? Yeah, that's the same halo. This doesn't look like much. I think I enhanced. No, I didn't. Let's do it quickly. Because very often you have to make some adjustments in order to show people that there is really something up there which might be of interest. Waves. This card. There is still pictures left. Now that's in the evening. Sun is already setting. Still a halo. And I was showing my new broomstick. This is the old one, worn out. So I'm really into broomsticks. <laughs> I know, I have used them for many hours. I know how to use a broomstick. And I had to take this in vertical format in order to catch all of those ripplets in the sky. And this is now just once enhanced. This is the original. If someone just walks there out with the dog, they won't notice ever these kind of things. They don't have the patience to watch up. And look at the sky. Like really looking at the sky. Maybe. Contrast. Safe as a copy. Yeah, that's an eerie picture. <laughs> you just need to uh, need the eyes to see things, and it gets really interesting. So I'm excited in a way to see how this weather change here in the north is going to be. Obviously, something is going on high above our heads. Thanks.